In the last episode of CTN, we covered how events end up mapping to the view controller via the target action mechanism. In other words, when a control gets an event, it's able to look at a dispatch table and pass it over to a target, which is a view controller. In this episode, we're going to talk about what actually happens when the touch occurs. What's the mechanism that gets us to processing that event? Now we have this inheritance hierarchy. All these things inherit from UI responder. I left one out. It was actually an oversight, but I'm going to leverage off that. View controllers are also a UI responder. And that comes into play with what is referred to as the responder chain. I'm going to explain what that is. But to, sp to start with, there are two general types of events. There's motion events and there's touch events. There's a remote control event, but we're going to ignore that one. And we're going to focus on touch events. We're not dealing with motion at this point. We're dealing with touch. Events are processed within an event loop. In other words, your application is sitting there waiting for something to happen. You touch the screen, for example. It gets processed. It goes back to the top of the loop. A responder, which is an instance of UI responder, in other words, it could be a view, it could be a control, it could, it could be a button, for example. It could be a view controller may or may not handle a particular event. Well, what does that mean? Well, an event is passed up the responder chain until it is handled. In other words, there's a chain of responders for a particular event. And they all have to inherit, in one way or another, from UI responder. There's two classes of interest. I'm not going to go into them in detail because you're not actually be going to be coding this stuff because you, you have a higher level mechanism. So, so the main focus of this episode is to get you to understand what's actually happening. There's a UI event class, which represents an event. And there's a UI touch class, which instances of represent a touch. Now what actually happens when you touch the screen. Okay, there's there's a multi-step process. To begin with, when a finger touches the screen, the multi-touch drivers, okay, the low-level software translates a touch patch, in other words, an area, it finds the center of the touch, because the finger has got interesting geometry. It translates that into a point. A single point on the screen. The UI touch and UI event object is created. Well, it's no surprise there. We need these low-level objects. The view that was touched is determined. In other words, which view was actually touched? We have to analyze the geometry and figure out, well, where did the touch happen? The touch event method is invoked on the view. Okay, now what actually may happen is the view, because it's a responder, it may actually respond to the event right then and there. And that's, that's what happens when you attach a gesture recognizer, which is a higher level way of, of doing this. And we did do that in one episode a, way, a ways back. If the event is not handled, it is passed up the responder chain. Okay. So what is this all about? Well, you got subviews, you got a view hierarchy. And the red patch on the screen here represents a touch. What happens when that touch is made? The system determines which, well, first place, it determines a point for that touch. What is the actual point within that? 
patch and figures out what the view was that's touched. And then a touch event invocation method is invoked on that subview. But if that subview doesn't handle it, it gets passed up the chain. Now the next one in this particular diagram would be the subview above it. And eventually you'll get to a root view which may be attached to a view controller. If that view does not handle it, the event will get passed over to the view controller. If there's no implementation for that, it gets kicked up to the window. And if the window doesn't handle it, which it generally won't, it handles over to the application. And if there's no implementation of that, it will get kicked down to do nothing. That is what is referred to as the responder chain. And the touch event may be handled at different levels, or it may not be handled at all. Now, as I mentioned, generally, you would be attaching a gesture recognizer to a view, and it would do a high-level handling of the event. But I think it's a good idea to understand how the mechanism in general is actually working.